Hi guys, it's Kim Candace, and I'm here with part two of the book haul. And if we have time, I'll um, grab one of the puppies out of the box and show you guys. So, uh, sorry, I'm just moving my webcam. Um, okay, so these are from the library. I'll show you these first. Um, this is Psycho, the the book that the movie was based on, Psycho by Robert Block. It doesn't have the cover for some reason, but it's the title page. And, um, the font is humongous. And it's only about, like, 230 pages, so I should be done with it in, like, a day, half a day. Um, and then, this one, I know I already showed you, but I found this cool. So, this is the first one, The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, and this is the second, The Tossed Wave by Carrie Ryan. And I think it's a three part. I know it's, there's three books in the series, but I'm not sure if this series ends with the three books. So, if you guys know, you can tell me. Um, this is another young adult novel about angels, A Need So Beautiful by Susan Young. And this is a, from what I know, I've never read a Chuck Connick book, but from what I have heard, um, I know his books are really weird and they have twists and turns. And um, I heard so did this one. It's called Perfume by Patrick Sisken. Perfume, the story of a murder. And this was originally published in, um, in, I don't know what country it was, I guess Germany, but uh, it was published in the language of German, German language, and it's, but it's based in France, I believe, and it's about a man who has a really strong sense of smell, and so he goes around and he becomes this perfumist, I think, where he creates perfumes because he has a really, really strong sense of smell, and he finds this woman, and he just loves the smell of her, and he realizes that it's because she's a virgin woman. And he tries to harness the smell, and instead he ends up killing her. And he, so he goes on this killing spree of trying to find these virgin women and harnessing their smell to make it into perfume, I guess, because he loves the smell. And it's, I heard it's a very, very twisted and grotesque in book. It's just, if, if you have a weak stomach and you can't handle books like this, I highly suggest don't read them, because that's what I've heard. I haven't read it yet, but... Um, I just heard it's very gross and gory and stuff like that, so. And then, these I got, my dad went to, I told him about the border's closing cell, and he went to his local border, and he picked these up for me. And, um, uh, this one actually, the first one I got at the, um, at Amazon, this one is, um, Vampire Beach, um, Volume 1 by Alex Duvall. And it has bloodlust and initiation. And it came with this cute little bookmark, which I thought was cute. And so my dad went to his quarters and he got me this one, which is the second, and the cover's so pretty. But um, it has ritual and legacy, and it's the second by the ballast of all. And you can uh, put the right here when it's writing. But um, yeah, there's, there's six books in all. And then there's three bind ups. So, which with two books in each, obviously. So, I don't have the third. I'm hoping to get that soon. And then he. I showed you that I have the second bind up in the Morgan Movie Empire series. And I got the first on Amazon by Rachel King. And it has Glass Houses and Dead Girls Dance. And I also. He went and got me um, the fifth. He would only find the fifth one. It's called Lord of Misrule. And he found the ninth one as well. Ghost Town. Very tricky. And he also found this one. It's the first in the Sticky Stack House novel. And the one that the show True Blood is based on. It's called Dead Until Dark by Charlotte Harris. And he likes that injury face. And, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this in the first one, but I know I showed you the second mind up I have. And this is the first called Buffy the Vampire Slayer Volume 1, uh, Coyote Moon, Night of the Living Rerun, and Portal Through Time. So, and it's by various authors. There's a lot of authors in this one. Uh, John Vornholt, Arthur Byron 
cover and Alice Henderson. And then my aunt in Hawaii, she, me and her were talking about how we really liked The Time Traveler's Wife, and the movie's amazing, too. I really liked both. And um, this is Audrey Nipsinger, I think is her, the author's name. This is her second book. And it's called Her, Fe her Fearful Cemetery. And this one is about a two twins who they inherit their aunt's uh, estate in London because she has a cancer. And um, it borders a, a cemetery. And they start seeing all this creepy stuff. And then it says that their aunt might actually be alive. Um, so, yeah. And I forgot to tell you that this Vampire Beach novel, these are about, I know it's not, I haven't heard of it, but it's about this. Um, these are young adult novels. It's about this, this brother and sister. It's mostly based on Jason. Jason Freeman, he, uh, his family relocates to Devere Heights in Malibu. And, um, he goes there and he kind of expects them to be, like, snobby. And they're actually really friendly. And then he becomes part of the in crowd. And then one morning, after an off the hook party, a uh, dead girl watches the pump, washes up on the beach and there's no clues except they have two bite marks on her neck, of course. And um, and then he starts you know, coming to the conclusion that it's based or it has a bunch of uh, vampires. So yeah, that's that. And then um, this, I am in love with the Sugar series. I don't have the first two because I borrowed them from the library. But when I was done with Linger, I told my husband I had to have the third one, and they didn't have it available at the time. So he told me I could borrow. Or, I told him, or I asked him if I could uh, buy it the, at Walmart. And so it finally came in, so this is Forever by Maggie C. Bobby. And I'm so excited to read this. And um, this one I got from the used bookstore. I'm a huge Dean Koontz fan. And I don't have any of his books because when I was younger, um, I was moving a lot and I didn't have a lot of room. So whenever I read a book, even if I really liked it, I would give it away to used bookstores or to my friends. And I just I never kept my books. And now that I have a bunch of room and I have my cousin got me two bookshelves. Um, I decided I want to collect them again. So this one I haven't read though. It's called um, Cold Fire by Dean Arcoons. And I really suggest reading any of his books if you're into. Um, I like Stephen King too. And to me, he reminds me of Stephen King. I know people get upset and they love either one, but I like both. So. And then this one is about a. It's more of like a book that you read while you're doing whatever, it's not a book that you sit down and read, but my aunt gave it to me, and I cannot pronounce the author's name, but there they are, and it's it's called Small Miracles, and it's just a bunch of short stories about extraordinary coincidences from, coincidences from every life, and I read a couple of them, and they're actually really, really interesting, so, and then these ones, I am Japanese, German, Irish, and Scottish, and, um, I'm actually Okinawan in Japanese, and, um, my family is from Hawaii, and so we go there every year, and I, when I went there recently, I was looking at the used bookstores and the bookstores that are based in Hawaii, and I was looking just for, like, ghost stories and stuff like that, and these I found at the borders in Hawaii, and this is called Obake Files by Glenn Grant, and Obake means ghost in Japanese, and it's uh, ghostly encounters in supernatural Hawaii, so they're ghost stories that are based in Hawaii, and I think they're true stories. So it's just a bunch of um, short stories, like two, three pages. And um, this is Mystery. And I I think these are fiction. But it's by Glenn Grant. Or the same author. And um, Honolulu Mystery. Case Studies from the Life of a Honolulu Detective. And um, I thought that was pretty interesting. So that's my book call. Maybe that's a two-part book call. Um, if you want to know any more information about any of these, just let me know. And I will definitely be doing reviews on all of them, especially the ones that I've purchased. The ones from the library, I'm not really sure because I'm still reading the Pretty Little Liars series. I'm on book four. It's called Simple Useful. And I'm not going to do a review on each and every one. I'm just going to. I did a review on the first one. And then I'm going to um, wait till I'm done with the whole series and do a review on it as a whole. So, yeah. If you guys would like an individual review, I'll definitely do that. Just let me know. 
and um, so yeah, like I said in my first video, um, my dog gave birth to three puppies yesterday. We actually woke up in the morning and there was a puppy, and then there was another, and then there was another. So there's three: one the boy and two the girl. Two are two are girls, and that. So I wanted to show them to you. Um, here's one. They're really cute. They're tiny. This is a girl. <laughs> She's really cute. Mm -hmm. This is another one. This is a boy, I think. They're so tiny. Mm -hmm. I think it's the third one, but yeah, that's our puppy. She gave birth yesterday. It's a mom, if you can see. Princess! <laughs> she isn't funny, but um, yeah, so we woke up in the morning to whining, and um, I thought it was her, so I was going to be quiet. And, um, and then my other dog, who is father of that dog. She, or he was going crazy. He was trying to get in the kitchen and he was barking at me and scratching at my face and he never does that. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I went and took him in the kitchen where the other two are. And um, then I looked in the cage and there was a puppy. And so we, um, I called my husband down and I was like, oh my gosh, what do we do? And we looked it up online and we went and got them some formula. And I like that it's pretty simple. I don't know if you guys have. They're actually, um, they're Chihuahua puppies. But their half, their dad is an apple head and their mom's a deer head. I don't know if you know the difference. It's it's just a um a different sort of breed. Apple heads are really really cute. They have this weird looking head that looks like an apple, and then deer heads are they kind of look like deers. Like she's a deer head, and she is very long and has long legs and stuff like that. And then the dad is a apple head, which he's in the other video. He's poncho, and um. He has, he has a weird looking head and those puppies kind of do too so I think they're going to look like that but um yeah so we have puppies and there's a bunch of books to read and um borders I went yesterday to um my husband took me to borders because they're finally closed I think I'm not sure I know they're supposed to be all closed by Sunday so definitely by tomorrow there will be no more but I'm not sure if they're open today or if they're Today is the last day as in it's closed today. I'm not really sure. But, you know, I hope that you guys went. And because they had really great sales now, everything's 90% off. So it's pretty much almost free. Like, um, this book was 25 or It's like $25 originally. And it came out to 2 or 3 So it's pretty much, they're like giving everything away. And I went yesterday, the second to last day, and they still had some good books. That's why the ones I got yesterday I haven't even heard of, except for the Night Runner ones. So, yeah, that's my haul. And um, I'm going to be doing some um, tags after this, so like a bookshelf tag and everything. And I want to go do it by my bookshelf, which is... My bookshelf and um, right there, and but obviously, you can see that it's not very good lighting unless I turn the light on, which is horrible. So, this is my natural lighting. So, I might do it in here, I might do it in there, I'm not really sure, but stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and happy reading.